Welcome back to It Resolves and a brand new deck. Today's deck is Mishra's Titan. Welcome back to It Resolves, everybody, and another fresh week of amazing decks, amazing fun, and hopefully you guys can learn and have some fun along with us. Today, we've got a really interesting deck. This is one I've just been playing around with. I threw it together the other day, and I've been kind of slowly fine-tuning it to a place where I feel like it's at least somewhat worthy of trying out. And so today, I thought, you know what? Let's just jump in and see what we can do. I am sure there are a lot of, you know, better things we can throw into this deck and things like that. And so what I would like to do is open you guys up a little bit to say, hey, take a look at this. We're going to be playing this through a standard event. We're going to be trying it out. Uh, may not do very well, but I want to see what you guys can suggest to hopefully kind of flesh this out a little bit. Now, before we do that, obviously, I got to give you an idea of what we are actually trying to do. And it's twofold. So Essentially, this is an artifact-focused build. We are really, really pushing a lot of artifacts in this uh, in this deck here. Uh, we've got a lot of really good ones to actually kind of take advantage of. So in some of the early ones, we've got Patchwork Automaton, which as we play more and more artifact spells, naturally will just get bigger and bigger. It's a little bit tricky to deal with, so any of the decks that have just point-and-shoot removal, they're going to have to wait on it because they do have to pay that two ward cost, and that slows them down and gives us a little bit of an advantage. Now, we also have Reckoner Bankbuster. This is going to draw us a handful of cards throughout the game. We can also crew it up if we see fit and hopefully get in for a little bit of extra damage. Uh, Thran Spider, a really crucial one for this deck. It's a 2-4 for 3 with Reach. So, most often this will be a blocker for us. This is going to take care of any of the Soren Vampire tokens that throw out there. This just blocks it efficiently. Uh, it's not going to kill anything necessarily, but it is going to hopefully save our life total at least a little bit. Give us each a, a, a tapped Power Stone token, so both the opponent and ourselves, we're each going to get one. But more importantly, we can use that seven mana to look at the top four cards of our deck. You can reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. You put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. That's the crucial one. That's really what we're trying to do because that's going to help us find any of our combo pieces, which we'll talk about very shortly. We do have the Celestis, it's just a one of. This allows us, again, a little bit of looting, a little bit of card selection. It also does slowly gain us life, so in a very slow matchup, this can get a non-marginal amount of life into our life total, which is very helpful. Uh, and then, of course, Circuit Mender here, which is just like a basic good card for the deck, right? It, it enters the battlefield, hopefully by turn three, it's a two, three. You gain a little bit of life, you draw a card when it leaves the battlefield. It's awesome, very, very awesome. Uh, now, what are we actually trying to do with this deck? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. We do have Mishra as well as the Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Now, these two cards together meld into Mishra lost to Phyrexia. Now, when that enters the battlefield or attacks, you get to choose up to three of any of these abilities. Uh, I say up to three. You actually have to choose three. <laughs> uh, it is, first of all, also a 9-9, but target opponent discards two cards. Mishra deals three damage to any target. Destroy target, artifact, or planeswalker. Creatures you control gain menace and trample until the end of the turn. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn, or create two tapped power stone tokens. All of those will be available to us. All of them are phenomenal. The Phyrexian Dragon Engine, also just on its own, is a nice little 2-2 double striker. When it enters the battlefield from your graveyard, you can actually discard your hand, and if you do, you draw three cards. A lot of times that's pretty useful, so very, very helpful there as well. Uh, but that's not all we do. We also, and this is why it's Mishra's Titan, have the Mech Titan Core as a very crucial part of this deck. This is a bit of a silly one, but actually in practice, this is the easier one to get going. Uh, you, ex you pay five, exile the core, and four other artifact creatures and or vehicles, hence the relatively overabundance of artifacts. Uh, and you get a 10-10 Construct Artifact Token with Flying, Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, and Haste. Yeah, it's all colors. Uh, and so you can get in for a massive amount of damage very quickly. You offset that life total with the, vi or excuse me, with the Lifelink, and you aren't losing a defensive because it's Vigilance. So it's just got so much going for it. When the token leaves the battlefield, you return all cards exiled with the core, uh, except, of course, Mech Titan core, to the battlefield tapped under their owner's control. So a very powerful ability, nonetheless, and definitely one we're going to try and take advantage of. 
Uh, now to help us get there, we do have Thirst for Knowledge as well as Cathartic Pyre. This also works as a removal spell, which is great. Spell Pierce, just to protect things a little bit. Uh, Sahili helps us get there, but also helps spit out some of the Thopters that we might need to sacrifice to the Mech Titan core, so very helpful there. Uh, and then Burn Down the House is a bit of a just catch-all, like destroy everything, Planeswalkers, creatures, get them off the battlefield just to make sure we're not in a huge losing position. As far as tech in the lands, we do have two Xander's Lounge. We don't need to go heavy into black because Mishra is our only black card. Uh, but we do also have the Abandoned Mire and the Soaring City as available options for us just in case we need it. Uh, so, very interesting deck. Again, I'm expecting suggestions. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this deck, how we can better it, how we can make it a little bit more efficient as we go through this standard event. We may lose all three games right away, but you know what? That's okay. I think we're trying something new today, and that's what I want to do this week as we go through. So let's see what we can do, guys. Let's jump into that standard event. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Uh, very interesting hand. Not necessarily a great hand, but we do have the Thirst for Knowledge, which will help us get to anything. So I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what we can do. Uh, one thing I do want to mention again, just as a, a quick reminder, because I know last year especially, we did not do events. Not like this. Uh, but for anybody that may not know, an event is, in this case, a best of one. So it's basically just a regular best of one series of games. But the idea is you're trying to get to seven wins before you get three losses. So uh, if you can do that, you win. And if you can't, you unfortunately don't, but that is okay. So just something to keep in mind as we go through. Um, interesting. I'm gonna go here. Uh, Cause if this dies, I really, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I think we just pass because we can suit up this. We're not in the, the damage dealing game in the early turns of these games. Normally what we are trying to do is just kind of hold off a lot of the damage until we can get to more combo pieces, things like that. So this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, also guys, I really hope you all enjoyed your weekend. Uh, I know last week was the first week that I was back. Um, John was kind of on and off, I know, uh, while I was gone and all that stuff. Uh, and that's fantastic, so definitely go watch and hang out with John as he's uh, doing the live streams and whatnot. I know he's trying to do more videos as well, uh, so I do encourage everybody to, to check those out as they pop up. Because uh, I do think it'll be a really, really fun time. Uh, and, I mean, John's just the man, right? Uh, we've got a lot of really awesome things planned this year as well that I really do hope you all will enjoy, if nothing else. Um, I... Uh, I don't actually want to get rid of the Mech Titan core. Unfortunately, we have drawn an overabundance of lands here. Uh, I think I could just get rid of these two, and I'll throw this out. Uh, the question is, do we attack here? Um, and you know what? Sure, why not? Uh, let's go ahead and push through a little bit of damage. I don't want to go too crazy here because this is the Anvil deck. This is certainly a scary one, but uh, this is a double striking Phyrexian Dragon Engine, and they didn't really have a good block, so I was going to take it. Um, like I said, though, we do actually have plans this week to start recording on um, the return of, I believe, the podcast, uh, which is really exciting. I know I haven't really talked to John about saying too much about that, but I do believe we are planning to bring that back, and I'm very excited about it. John and I always have a great time just you know, talking magic and just hanging out and doing some fun stuff. Uh, we've done a little bit more planning this time around, which I think is definitely to the benefit of you guys, I hope, uh, in that we should be able to, I mean, we've got the episodes planned out, we've got a season planned out, and it should be a really fun time. So I encourage all of you guys, if you're interested in, you know, just hanging out with us and hopefully learning a little something, then please do, uh, you know, enjoy it. It'll be fun. Uh, let's get that going, and I think we just pass here. We kind of took a risk last turn, and I don't think it was worth it, so we'll just wait. Um, the uh, Unfortunately, this little Infiltrator is very, very solid in this deck, because it will just gain so much uh, in terms of power and toughness. So basically, we just have to hope we can get like a Mech Titan core down or something. Uh, which, I mean, given the right draw, it's probably not possible, actually, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot of new stuff planned this year. Uh, we also will be having a giveaway, and I'm going to go ahead and hint a little bit at this. We're changing up the giveaway pattern. 
Uh, I think previously we were kind of doing it along with each new standard set, which was fine. I think that works perfectly fine. Uh, but instead, I think we want to be more goal oriented. Uh, that was something that John and I kind of talked about towards the end of last year that, you know, we, we do all these giveaways and they're really, really fun. And we certainly set goals for ourselves, which is always important. Uh, but at the same time, we don't really like, I, I, we could do better is all I would say. Uh, and so, um, in terms of just making sure that we are, you know, hopefully giving you guys a little bit more focus and in our case, a little bit more goal setting. Uh, and so in that case, what we have decided to do, uh, is set a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, and then select prizes and tiered prizes that are hopefully very helpful for everybody to hopefully enjoy. So that's the plan. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, let's see. I don't love where we are at. I mean, I mean, I think it's pretty clear we're not necessarily going to win this. I'm just going to go here. It's ambitious, but uh, yeah, I will discard our hand and just straight draw three. Yep. Uh, cool. Um, definitely not in a great position. There is no doubt about that. Uh, that goes away. And we are facing down... A little too much damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and good game him here. Unfortunately, guys, that was not a very long game, but they definitely have us there, so I'm gonna concede, and we are gonna move on to game number two. Definitely a rough matchup. The Anvil matchup is one that um, I did not face in practice, uh, and so that was actually the first time we had faced it. I think we definitely should not have attacked that one turn, and we might have had an extra turn in there to play with, but all in all, let's see what we can do in game two. All right, guys, and here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, actually, this is a pretty solid hand. Uh, we've got a little bit more we can do this turn, or, or this game, excuse me. So I definitely like this one. We will stick with it. Uh, one thing to note is because we do run such a heavy abundance of artifacts, uh, that the pain lands are actually pretty viable in this, this list. And I uh, actually really kind of makes it easier. You know what I mean? Like you're not having to force a whole lot of things. I expect they will have a counter here to be honest, um, and it looks like that is the case. This is going to be mono blue, and it's going to be annoying. <laughs> uh, but good news is, I mean, theoretically, we might be able to kind of run them out of things here as we go. But uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go Circuit Mender first and just see what happens. Uh, we've got an overabundance of Circuit Menders in our hand, and if it does stick, it's something that they obviously are gonna have to deal with, and if they do, uh, we get to draw a card. So, a little bit of an upside there if it does get removed, <coughs> uh, which is fine. Excellent. Uh, we will play a land first. Let's make sure we get the attack in. If they've got a flash creature, it doesn't, I mean, it's annoying, it's not the end of the world. Excellent. Um, I think we just go another circuit mender for now. Uh, I do want to get that Thran Spider down, but um, I'm not overly concerned about it this turn. I think at some point we definitely want to naturally, but all right, cool. Gain a little bit of extra life. Again, just have a couple things on the battlefield that do represent some cards in our hand as well. I think that's always good. Uh, they are going to be leaving up some counters here, obviously. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Um... I think let's do this let's see what they do having a reach creature is always just helpful uh, looks like they're gonna counter it sure uh, okay uh, that was a bit of a bluff now I just hope they don't have another counter <laughs> uh, I'm sure they probably do yeah all right fair enough um, in which case do we want to attack probably not uh, basically we're just trying to run them out of stuff at this point, that's kind of the best hope we have uh, because, you know, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, but thankfully, they didn't do too much. Well, that's a lot, but that's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Again, hoping they don't have a counter spell. Looks like they don't. We're both going to get a tapped power stone, and then I'm just going to go wreck in our bank buster here. Uh, if we'd like to, we could always suit this up, but it looks like they're just going to counter that as well. All right. Um, I'm not going to attack. Uh, yeah. And they're going to bounce the Thran Spider. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I guess just to make sure that they're getting an attack in with the Djinn. 
I think it would have held that land. I don't know why they would have needed to play it. And truthfully, that's scarier in this deck uh, for them to just have a card in hand. I think I would have sandbagged that. Uh, and like I said, guys, we are, I think, learning very quickly that this this uh, this deck isn't necessarily the best. Uh, but that's okay. We're not here to make the best deck. We're here to have fun. Uh, and that's fine. All right. Cool. Um... Do we attack in? No, we don't, right? Just in case. Uh, so next turn, we can drop Reckoner Bankbuster and the Mech Titan Core. Um, in which case, we don't really want to take all this extra damage, but we also don't want to block it, do we? Five, so that's 11. I'm going to take it. That's really scary, but uh, it's kind of the only way we can get through this. So, oh. Okay, uh, that kind of changes the math, right? Because that's actually way better for us. <laughs> um, so we can get some damage in and then just sweep. Uh, so yeah, I think we just do that. Obviously they know we're gonna sweep, I think, um, but this is pretty straightforward. All right, swag, let's do it. Let's just get everything out of there. That was really scary to do, but uh, we draw a couple extra cards here, which does put us in a much stronger position than what they have currently. So I'm going to throw the uh, Reckoner Bankbuster down. I'm, I'm not really open to throwing the Mech Titan Core down quite yet, because there's really not a huge point to. Um, but this is perfectly fine. Let's draw another card here. Land is fine. Let's throw you down. Let's draw another card. <laughs> Uh, and now I guess I will throw the Mech Titan Core down. It looks like they didn't have a counter spell, otherwise I think, you know, they had options to use it. Obviously they didn't want to, but interesting. Okay, uh, let's do this. That's not helpful. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not not helpful. It's not great. Um, all right, let's do this gonna get a counter here which isn't really that that exciting um okay all right so we are gonna be forced to block here uh which is not great uh don't have a bounce spell please don't have a bounce spell It'd be great don't have a fading hope please come on um yeah so then we just die right <laughs> we'll just spell pierce it <laughs> Uh, we were really close, actually. Uh, we had the means. Dang. All right. Well, I'm going to have to concede. Unfortunately, guys, that is two losses, which means if we get one more, we are out of the running for the event. But you know what? Again, guys, I want to stress the fact that I'm not the best deck builder in the world. And so for me, this is just kind of a test run. We're just kind of learning. Uh, so let's see if we could do a little better in game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three and hopefully the one we need to win, but we will see what we can do here. Uh, again, guys, you know, it's a test run. We're, we're having some fun with this deck, though. I really do just want to get the uh, the Mech Titan at the very least accomplished. I kind of want to see if we can make that happen. Uh, so far, of course, we've been a little unlucky in that, but that's okay. We'll see what we can do. Um, we do actually have the Phyrexian Dragon Engine too, so if we were able to get Mishra down, that would be helpful. But uh, it looks like this is gonna be a really uh, potentially challenging game, we will say. Um, this is the Soldier's deck. I don't love facing this deck, especially against, uh, or with what we have, uh, because this is a bit of a silly deck. It's like, not anticipating a whole lot of benefit, but We'll do the best we can. They are gonna go ahead and get in for a reasonable attack here, which is fine. Okay. Now we need to actually do something here, I suppose. So, uh, I think what we should do is probably just play out the Phyrexian Dragon Engine and then most likely draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna leave up the Spell Pierce naturally, just in case they have a, a spell they wanna play, we can go ahead and, and deal with it. Uh, that's an annoying one. Uh, in which case, yeah. Um, okay, not a lot we can do about it. They just have a Brutal Cathar, so. I think, uh, again, we're probably just gonna wait until the end of the turn and then draw a card. Uh, but they, I think, are just gonna steamroll us here. 
which is terrible, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and draw. A land is fine. I mean, it's not, it's not spectacular, is it? Um, all right, let's go ahead and throw you down. Let's get you down, uh, and we'll throw this out. And yeah, we're just gonna have to stop there. Um, I mean, what, uh, you know, what, what are we gonna do? All right, cool. Yeah. Yep. All good. All very good from the opponent. Very solid. Uh, okay. Uh, so we literally just have to block the most powerful things, I think, and just let it be. Yep. There's the Mishra that we needed. Um, okay, so... Not helpful. Uh, we do have an out. Unfortunately, that was not it. Um, trying to think what the best option is. So we can throw you out. Uh, let's do this. Gain two. We can throw Mishra out, but that's not all that helpful. I think what we want to do is Soaring City. Yeah. We're basically just hoping for the best possible scenario here in terms of drawing like a, uh, oh, what, burn down the house, excuse me. Took me a second. Um, okay, so we let all that happen. I don't think this is gonna be enough, right? We're gonna go full control. We're gonna bounce here. All right, now we can get out of full control. All right, so then this takes three damage off the field and allows us to block. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> oh, they have everything. Man, we suck is the takeaway. Um, all right, well, guys, we lost three in a row. Uh, and you know what? That's fine. Let's uh, let's go ahead and like wrap this one up, I guess. Um, I do want to get everybody's suggestions on this deck really, really badly, because I do think this is kind of a fun list. I think there's something to this. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really see it today. <laughs> Uh, but I do think there is something to it, and if you guys do have any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, but that's all we get. That was a sad one. That was a really, really sad one, but that's okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, watching me get just absolutely demolished with my own little silly deck. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Happy Monday to all of you. We will come out with some big news, again, the giveaway news, as well as podcasts and all that kind of stuff very, very soon. So I do encourage you all to please stand by for all that. But thank you all again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.